Ben here from Authentech, and today, oh snap, I think I've got a cool new phone grip system. Now, I've tried a lot of them in the past, like pop sockets and loopy cases, and they each have pros and cons to them, but this new one looks like it has some really cool, unique features and functionality, so without further ado, let's jump in and check it out. It seems our phones are just getting larger and larger, a bit harder to hold, single-handed type and navigation, so I like the idea of a loop or some sort of grip to be able to single-handed use our devices. These are the new O-Snap. Oh Huge thanks to those guys for sending me a few to check out. I'm excited to uh, mount on a couple different phones and see how they work. One of my issues with the pop sockets and the loopy cases was wireless charging, also clipping into mounts like in my car. Now these snaps, I think they have a workaround and it's using magnets and check that out. That is so cool. All right, let's get it attached to uh, some of my phones and see how it works. All right, now they've got a few different colors and uh, I'm intrigued to see how it attaches. Each case is a little different. That one is kind of smooth. This one has some texture to it. Let's see how well it sticks to it. I'm gonna use a little cleaning wipe just to get any oils off of the case. This is always a good idea for a clean attachment. So that's the underside, boom. Easy, boom, hooked, loop, it's on there solid. You can see that's attached by plastic. All right, so step one, we slide this up out of this little plastic frame. Then we peel back the little protective coating from that sticky. Center it up and towards the bottom on the new 11 Pro. For any of you guys, there's that cut out there. So it's gonna have to be pushed down towards the bottom anyway. And square it up. How's that look? It says press it firmly, massage it on all surfaces. It says wait two plus hours before reinserting. So it's gonna be hard to wait, but this is something I don't want uh, flying off my phone. So I'm gonna wait that two hours before slipping this guy back in and trying it out. All right, we're doing the Samsung next. Be really intrigued how well it sticks. Again, the reason I'm using cases is these things are so expensive and insurance and all that. I really don't want to drop it, crack screen. So we try to keep the case on there for protection, resale, but this should add a nice level of security, one-handed use, all that stuff. So cool. It's kind of addicting. We slide this out. I think on a big phone like the Note 10 Plus, I really like the device, but it's just so big for single-handed use. But this might be able to bring me back to the Note as my daily. Press on it, and we wait two hours. So one of the things I loved on the Loopy cases, for example, is it's on there so secure. I mean, people swing this thing all around, and you know the phone case isn't going anywhere. But a couple of problems that I had, wireless charging, which I use all day, all night, well, it just, it just doesn't work. And there's no easy or fast way of just taking the case on and off. That doesn't work. And then the other thing is when you put it down on a surface, and let's say you want to type, well, and this is basically the same with pop sockets as well. I mean, you could go press it down, but you're still gonna have that wireless charging issue. And then also when I throw it in the dock in my car, well, just all this, this is a little bit better, but it's harder for it to clip in and mount well. This system, it seems a lot thinner, which is awesome. All right, here we go. It's been two and a half hours. I peeled off this clear case to see the contact points on this back casing. And it looks pretty good. There's a few blank dead spots there. Let's pop it back into the case gently. We can see this is that back metal plate. Here's the magnets up top and down on bottom. Okay, we're gonna slide it in. Again, it's been two hours, so we should be good to go. It kind of clicks in there good. We go look at that thin profile. That's sweet. And the first time we're gonna oh snap pop it. Ooh, that's satisfying. Now remember, you can pop it up and then use it as like a movie watching stand. 
that's awesome. Here we go, then there's this little hook right here. Put it on there, and that's all that's needed for a solid hook. Slide a finger through, look at that. Full rotation, so you could go sideways. That's really cool. And then when you're all done, this is the best part, you just unclick it, and then snap it right back down into place. Boom, bam, boom. Oh snap, boom. You could even hold it like that if you want a quick, you don't always have to loop it, it's nice. Okay, here it is on the Note 10 Plus. Slide it in. Here we go, one-handed control. That feels on there really good. And then the big test for me is wireless charging. This one's from Carved, super cool. Check them out, link down below. If we try it with this magnet case on here, I don't think it'll work. Okay, nothing, I don't think there. Let's try iPhone. Nothing. Let's say you just wireless charge once at night. They say you can just slide this thing off and then boom, dock it on. Hey, wireless charging. Now another test I wanted to see if I have this down flat. Okay, so there is a little bit of wobble. Let's say you're typing something but it's not as bad as some of the others. You could still do some simple navigating on here. Same with on the note, a little bit of wobble, but not too bad. And just to show or make sure this one works as well, we can slide it up or down, note, toss it on there, and wireless charging works. Very cool. Oh, and another cool thing we can do with these magnets. Boom, look at that. Sticks really well to a strong magnetic surface, very cool. And another test, this is one of my clips in the car. It can easily still hook in, that's nice, and squeeze on secure without too much bulge getting in the way. That's a good thing. So this is trying the magnet mount in here. It sticks okay, it's a little soft. Your mileage may vary. Another option that they showed is you can snap that and then actually twist this and then and then you can hook it on and it's actually on there pretty good not sure how perfectly of a hold that is but but it might work for you depending on your car oh and another test since it's pretty slim profile how well does it slide into the pockets well, that's pretty good you can see that it's not really getting hung up back pocket Front pocket, it's good to see. That's nice, passes that test. So I've been using O-Snap for about a week now and here's some of my key thoughts. Firstly, the mounts have stuck on very well to both of my phone cases. This is a lout clear one, I really like it on my iPhone 11 Pro and then this textured one on my Note 10. I was surprised it held on so tight. All the links to cases and everything will be down below. Second, yes, these snaps are like those old snap bracelets back in the 90s, which makes it a super fun integration and just sort of addicting to play with, kind of like a little fidget toy built in. Now they say it's made of high quality steel wrapped in silicone rubber, so it's both comfortable and strong. Now I like how versatile it can be. It's slim and thin enough to easily slide in and out of pockets. I like that I can use it as a phone stand for watching all sorts of content. Plus we can loop it closed for a more secure finger hold. Plus it rotates around for different finger positions. Plus there's magnets inside for mounting options. Plus that middle frame slides up or down allowing you to reach all different corners of your device. And plus that middle section slides all the way out for wireless charging. I had the concern of reusability. Let's say you get a new device down the road. Well, they say you can remove, reuse, and reposition the O-Snap with some simple cleaning instructions. The adhesive will then supposedly stay strong. Now, I wasn't able to test this out, but if it works, as they say, that's pretty awesome too. It kind of makes your investment a bit longer term. 
I think my biggest wish list item is that I could wireless charge without having to slide out that middle frame. It's because the metal is sort of blocking that magnetic charging field. It's not much of a way around it. Now, if you don't wireless charge very often, well, then thankfully this doesn't apply to you. For me personally, I use wireless charging all day long, every single night on my nightstand, also in my car dock, and then sometimes even at my desk throughout the day. It's not necessarily a deal breaker, but something to keep in mind. A few key comparisons versus the loopy cases and the pop sockets. For the loopy cases, well firstly it's a secure hold, it's obviously built right into the case and it's locked on there tight. And of course it's kind of a two-in-one purchase design so you're getting a nice case with protection as well as the loopy built in. Some of my biggest complaints with the loopy though is that when it's laid flat, of course, so you can't lay it down flat. Uh, it doesn't wireless charge unless you pop the whole case off, which isn't ideal. I'd say Loopy has some really good potential if only they could figure out a way to uh, lay this flat when it's not in use. Wireless charge, that'd be awesome since it's rubber, but then pop it out when you need it. As for the pop sockets, well, this is the original idea, right? It was easy and simple to just stick it onto any device, pop it open when you want it. It's got the 360 hold. It sort of works as a uh, prop-up device for watching content and movies. The cons on here are similar. When you lay it flat, you got a lot of wobble when typing. Uh, it's blocking the wireless charge and it's not easy to uh, disconnect. So overall, the O-Snap is a pretty neat invention. There's a lot of versatility to it, which I like. And if you find that your phone is pretty large for one-handed use, well then it might be worth checking out. And pricing on these things are pretty affordable. So if you want to check out more info, as always, all the links will be down below. Thanks so much guys, and until next time, let's live all fun tech.